Very sweet. Thank you so much. Have a good one. It's been one year on the road. I thought this was the one that made that sound. This is just, what is this? You know, the one that you blow into and it goes, ah. That was so unamusing. Ow! Oh, there goes my hat. Pretty sure I just crushed it. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Becca. We do a lot of fishing and camping and I live out of my truck. We are currently on the biggest road trip of my life. We are going to do a map update for you guys because I've been doing a lot of driving and currently we're in Charleston, South Carolina. Easily one of my favorite cities I've ever personally been to and I'm so happy to be back. It's been about two years since I've been here and we're going to fish our hearts out. We're going to do a little celebration in the truck tonight. I have no idea where I'm going to be sleeping per usual but we will find somewhere we can overnight park hopefully and then not get kicked out hopefully. So yeah. what we do is, like, you're on private property. I don't know. You're supposed to be here. Get your ID. Yeah. Your information. Uh, a lot of things are in the air in today's episode, but one thing I know for certain is last year on October 27th was my first ever truck camping video. You guys are going to end up seeing this video after October 27th, but, like, between that time frame, I probably did my first ever truck camping on, like, October 25th, two days to edit, then posted the video. Nonetheless, we're still in the same time frame. It's been a year. It's not the 27th today, by the way, but we're in the time frame and it just blows my mind how much stuff we've been able to do in the past year like i love living on the road obviously showering at planet fitness and having that gym membership unbelievable i took a shower today and it made me feel human again after you know driving 10 hours it feels pretty good to hop in a shower and just kind of refresh everything but it has been an unbelievable trip and i can't wait to celebrate in this video with you guys and do everything I love to do and have a good time doing it. <laughs> Look at that. It completely broke when I hit the ceiling of my truck. Well, good thing it came in like a 12 pack. I have more. But nonetheless, I think it's nice to kind of reflect on things that have not been so fun truck camping. It's fun to glorify it, of course, because it is an unbelievable position that I'm in to sleep in my truck. I don't really make any money doing this which i'll discuss later but i don't want to talk about the whole money thing and whatnot at this exact moment but it's good to reflect on the negatives and the positive positive. and one massive negative was sleeping in this truck hamper or really any truck hamper when it is hot out yes everyone goes straight to oh when it's really cold what do you do but when it's really hot, what do you do? If you guys remember, if you don't and you're new here, maybe five-ish months ago, pretty much peak summer, I was camping in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for about a week and I ended up getting a really bad heat rash and it was itchy and my whole face like started to swell up and it was just because I was sleeping in such a hot camper that it ended up really affecting me and I got very sick from it. So. Pros and cons, I always have fans running in here when it's hot out. Obviously, it's winter now, but pros and cons, right? You, you get, your face can sometimes swell up because it's too hot, so there's that. And then there's moments, like last night, where it got down to 31 degrees and you are below freezing truck camping and freezing to death. You get the absolute extremes and the absolute lows when you truck camp because you are so limited on things that you can do. One really cool addition has been the solar panel. This is, I think, the inverter. I don't remember what that thing is called. That box. And then it goes to a bunch of wires and then there's a massive battery all the way underneath my bed over there that leads all the way to my roof that has a solar panel. That has changed the game 100% for me. This is our little map update. We started in Northern Rhode Island where my parents' house is. We drove all the way down here, spent our first night in Northern North Carolina. On the second night, we ended up all the way just below Atlanta, Georgia, and then we made it to our final destination, which was Alabama. 
And then from Alabama, which is right here, we drove all the way over here to kind of northern Florida, which I spent a couple of days, probably almost a week if I'm being honest, at Norm's house. So we went to Lojo's, went to Norm's, and then last night I was somewhere over here in Georgia, and now I'm all the way over here in Charleston, South Carolina, and this is my exact location. So we've definitely been going in kind of like a, it's like a shape of a fish hook is what we've been doing. Being on the road has been an unbelievable experience this past year. I've been able to meet so many incredible people. And I think that's one of my favorite things is being able to meet so many people because you kind of lack that human interaction. So you find yourself being more willing to talk to strangers in a way. So if I'm in a grocery store and I see some lady that needs help, I want to start a conversation with her because I haven't had human interaction in a couple of days. <laughs> so little things like that is kind of a negative, but then it turns into a positive in a way which has changed my outlook on a lot of things for sure. I think also living on the road, it just kind of humbles you in a way. It makes you feel very grateful when you do have a warm bed and like a set temperature, airflow controlled house. But hey, I have no complaints. Well, I have some, but we'll get into those in a little bit. I'm planning on spending some time in South Carolina, preferably the Charleston area. So I need to get some fishing in because last time I came here and I fished, it was some of the most incredible fishing I've ever got to experience. And I am gonna try to duplicate it today. We're gonna go fishing. There's a bunch of ponds. We're in like this kind of residential neighborhood that I probably shouldn't be parked at or fishing. But you know, if there's no fishing signs, I'll let you know. But I don't remember seeing any last time I was here. We're gonna go fish these ponds and then we're gonna continue truck camping and struggling because it can be a struggle <laughs> and I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight and that is always such a weird feeling that I still haven't gotten used to so let's go crank some fish have some fun and then uh carry on with truck camping all right pond number one last time I actually fished this pond they were pretty much all on beds There you go. Hey, first fish. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. Not big, but that was funny. I walked up and cast it and I spooked pretty much, a, I don't know, realistically, probably like 15 turtles jumped in the water. And then this guy somehow still ate and didn't get spooked. That was pretty sweet. First fish. We're at pond number three or four. Kind of lost count. We have a starting place now, and now we have a lot of room to upgrade in size, which is cool. So I don't mind starting small. Oh, no. If you guys wanna pick up any of the baits that I'm using, plus the rod, the weights and everything, and the hook, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. It's pretty much the number one way to support the channel. If you guys click the link below and use my code at checkout for whatever your heart desires to purchase, it uh yeah it fun helps fund me for gas that's for sure which is getting pretty low right now that's totally a real alligator unless someone put a fake alligator in their yard that looks like a real one he's just propped up he looks fake that's a real alligator over there there we go there we go. I was gonna say, I, I just don't even know if there's fish in this pond. Probably the same exact size as the first one we caught, but there you go. See you later, bud. <laughs> Are we kidding? I didn't know they could get smaller. To be fair, I fished these ponds two years ago with Lojo and Weston Smith, and this was pretty much the average size that we were catching. But I figured they would have gotten bigger or I would have hooked into something that we didn't last time. I guess these fish are just all small. I don't know. I can't say we caught anything big, but we, we definitely caught fish. And I've, um, I've been in touch while I was fishing and messaging back and forth one of you beautiful people. I believe her name is Heather. 
she's a subscriber of the channel and we were messaging because she lives in this area and she just went to the church near her house and got permission from the pastor saying that I can sleep in the church's parking lot tonight so we got a campsite I could have found one it just would have taken me a little while so that's a huge help because the sun goes down so early now I have very limited time to find campsites with daylight and I prefer to find them in daylight you know We got to get ready to kind of camp for the night, get our camping spot, but I think I need to run to Walmart for literally two things. And I'm probably going to walk out with more than two things, but I shouldn't because the, I only legitimately need two things. So let's go to Walmart quick, grab those two things, get to our camp spot, and then continue on with the night because it is absolutely freezing. It is getting below freezing yet again tonight. I thought this was down south, but I was wrong. I only brought one sweatshirt this trip. So, and I've already worn it like four times. So I'm wearing this thing and it's not very warm. <sighs> All right, time to crank the heat. Here's the church. I think it would be fine if I just like parked right here. There's a there's a lot over there, but I don't know. Oh, this looks this looks good right here. I like this. Oh, uh, transition. Now we're in my truck. I had to clean up my truck a little bit because I was embarrassed for you guys to see. It got a little messy. So sorry about that. I don't know, I feel like I went a little all out, spent 10 bucks on this stuff, and I'm actually, I'm actually really proud. <gasps> okay, the goal is to not break that. You, you get the gist, right? We're just, maybe in a little bit, uh, I, I don't know. We got a cupcake! Shout out Walmart. I was gonna go to a local bakery and support a local bakery, but it's like 9, 30, 10. And everyone is closed for the night. I ended up spending a lot of time kind of trying to crank out a video for you guys and took a lot longer than anticipated, which is A-OK. -okay. How the heck? This is childproof and Becca proof. Come on. You're kidding. Okay, got it. <laughs> heck yeah. I had a lighter on me not that long ago. I'm not sure where it went, but we got uh, a number one candle for one year on the road one full year fully submerged in the great outdoors and there's only one way to celebrate and that's a beautiful fine dining walmart cupcake i mean it just doesn't get any better than that oh that's so cute oh that's so cute look at that actually smells good so i got this from an mre we did an mre video if you guys haven't seen that check that out and it came with some matches. I brought a lighter in the truck cab with me. And I don't know what happened. Yeah. Please balance. These are the worst matches ever. They're just breaking any pressure you put onto it. If this was a survival situation, we would probably be dead. I'm seeing the spark. I'm pushing hard. Be right back. Be, be right back. We're gonna... I had the... I brought the lighter in with me, I think. See, sometimes you just look and it takes two seconds. Okay. Cheers to being one year on the road. Thank you to everyone who's followed the journey. Thank you to everyone that supported me. We may be broke, but we are sure as hell happy. I'd rather be broke and happy 
can have money and be sad and not be doing the stuff that I do want to be doing. So I have no regrets and hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy the content that's been put out the past year. It's only going to get better and better. So thank you to everyone that's stuck right beside me. Appreciate you guys. Let's light this bad boy. Don't I have to make a wish? It's not my birthday. Um, I wish for safe travels home and many more amazing trips in the near future. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, God. Good thing we don't have a smoke detector in here. <laughs> Probably should. But in all seriousness, at the end of the day, thank you guys so much to everyone who supports the channel, everyone that uses my code on the Guggen Squad website. Like, it doesn't go unnoticed, and I, I hope I say it enough. I don't want to be annoying and keep saying it over and over again, and people will be like... But seriously, like, you guys have been an unreal support system. You know, I'm just really, really blessed. So thank you for the past year. I mean, we've been doing YouTube videos for three years, but officially one year doing truck camping videos. So thank you for everything, and let's enjoy this cupcake. I think everyone's favorite way to eat cupcakes as a kid, or favorite thing to do with cake and cupcakes was, and then just lick the frosting off the candle. Maybe that was just me, but let's try our cupcake. I think we deserve a taste, even though there's dairy in it. And I very well might get sick. That's actually really good. For Walmart? Yeah. Oh, they put frosting in the middle. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Wow. I didn't eat. I'm not going to make dinner tonight. Sometimes when I go to Panera, I'm sitting there for so long I feel bad. So I feel the need to order something. Even though they're like a multi-billionaire company, I still feel the need to like show the business some love. I ordered some food at Panera. But this is now my dessert. Exhausted is definitely an understatement. I was just thinking about it. It probably seemed a little depressing to light a candle and blow it out by yourself in the middle of nowhere in an area you've never been before but i don't want to share a cupcake with anyone so is it really depressing or did i just win at life by eating in a half i ate half half of a cupcake by myself you know i could have shared the other half <laughs> that doesn't even make sense that's just what my brain's thinking right now when i went to walmart i said i needed two things hand warmers, and of course the cupcake. So, I've never seen these before. They're not even hand warmers. They're body warmers. They're like massive. It is below freezing right now. Can you see my breath? This like sticks. <laughs> Where I always get very cold like right here in my arm. So I wonder if I should like stick it there. I got an exciting day tomorrow. The girl that I told you suggested and got, like, her pastor to let me sleep in the church's parking lot, we're going to get breakfast tomorrow. So, I got a breakfast date in the morning. Super excited to meet her. Her name is Heather. And then another exciting day that I can't tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow, but tomorrow's really cool. And I've been looking forward to filming that video for, like, two months now. So, it has been very properly planned it's not gonna go accordingly to plan because that's not how things work but i'm very excited i'm a very anxious person i have a panic attack disorder which i don't know if i've ever even said that to you guys but yeah i have i have really bad panic attacks and um the unknown used to scare me but after you know going to therapy and all that good stuff for my panic attacks the unknown is like inevitable and like it's not as scary as it's made out to be you know i think life would be boring if we knew what was coming <laughs> oh man sorry for the rant i apologize i'm just getting super tired so much driving so much exploring my brain is fried i'm gonna go to bed we can do some more things and talk a little bit more in the morning but for now i need to hit the hay so Thanks for sharing a cupcake moment with me. See you guys in the morning.
we have to fully get out. I just need to talk to you. No, I got you. I know you said you have permission to go back. It's not the most dialed system, but. Are you a Yeah, I'm just like traveling from um, oh, okay. Rhode Island. I mean, I'm That's sure you saw That's a far trip, yeah. Yeah, I was just in Alabama and then I was oh, in wow. Florida, so. Okay. So yeah. what we do is, like, you're on private property. I don't know you're supposed to be here. Oh, so yeah, no, I know, I know. I have a defecation. What I'll do is I'll just, like, get your ID, yeah. your information, and then I'll put it into, like, a little small synopsis of my our report system saying I got out with you at this time, this place. Okay, cool. That's all I need to do. Yeah, yeah no. Do you have I, an ID on you? Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. No, I mean, no, I appreciate no, you doing your job, too. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. You got a heater back there? No. <laughs> you're just freezing? Well, the sleeping bag's rated for, like, negative degrees. Oh, uh, okay. But... You got, you got some good jackets on, too, so, I mean, you should be okay, yeah. I've done worse, trust You're me. You're traveling alone? All this way alone? What are you... You're just, like, uh, just, like, sightseeing? Um, yeah, I do... I do YouTube. Rhode Island ID. Three... Last name. Yassine. Yassine. Thank you for that. <laughs> I really appreciate that help. I could not... I was going to butcher that one. I was <laughs> waiting for you to butcher, and I was like, oh, I can't <laughs> do it to him. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? Uh, fishing with Becca. Fishing with Becca. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to look that up. Is it? Are you on TikTok or just? Uh, just I'm more a TikTok guy. Do you have a phone number? I do. Yes. Okay. Can I get it just in case we call you later on about something that happened over here? Yeah, four zero one. Rest of the night. Sweet. Okay. And I'll tell the rest of the cops working to leave you alone. And yeah. You're here only tonight, correct? Yeah, just tonight. just tonight, yeah. Okay, okay. I was, and they told me too, they were like, there's a really good shot, cops gonna come up to you, and I was like, uh, okay. whatever. Yeah, I mean. It's, I'd rather sleep here than the Walmart, so. Yeah, this area is so much safer than mm -hmm. North Charleston This area can still get kind of rough, though, so. Yeah, I think I, I saw told. some guys walking around in jackets like like 20 minutes ago, and I couldn't find them when I turned around on them, so. Be really careful out here. Does this lock out through really good? Yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it, it definitely okay. locks out pretty good. Okay. I do just you have like pr pr protection wise, like guns or anything like out here, because we do have some problems. Like this neighborhood's not bad. Mm -hmm. I could. I mean, I worked here for a while. We've had a couple like instances, but really across the street mm -hmm. is like a kind of a, a, a rougher part. Gotcha. Of an apartment complex, it's kind of rough. Okay. So gotcha. I mean, I've been here before and heard gunshots. Like I've been here parked here just like eating lunch. So, I, mean, <laughs> I mean it's just it's a hit or miss though you know yeah I hope because it's cold no one's out doing anything bad but i just if it's cold or raining i usually feel so safe track camping because everyone's just home or doing their own thing usually you can you can have a good night okay <laughs> yeah you too right. if you need anything please give us a call okay i will i will appreciate yeah. it so much yes, ma'am thank you i was told that would probably happen but yeah a cop just knocked and was like hello is someone in there <laughs> i was like yeah hold on i just have to unlock the truck and blah blah <laughs> that cop was such a sweetheart though like he was so sweet so nice like pretty much everything you could ever want when being woken up in the middle of the night by a cop it is 2 a.m so i'm gonna go back to bed but he's on duty all night, so he knows I'm here, which is really nice. And I feel very safe now, actually, knowing that he knows that I'm here. So I'm going back to bed. Shout out to that cop. You were incredible. But good night. <laughs> Again. Good morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so cold, it's 30 degrees, and I really just want to go inside the truck and turn the heat on, so, mm. at least I slept good though, I slept really good. so dehydrated today. I ended up meeting up with Heather. We had a grand old time at Waffle House. I love Waffle House. And then she gave me a thrift store that I should go to that she recommended. And it's, I'm four minutes away as we speak. So that means I am 1000% going to the thrift store, getting some sweatshirts because 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on the road, but no matter where I go, it's going to be freezing. So I really need to like be dialed with some something a little bit heavier, and I think my best bet to save money is going to be the thrift store, so we're going there now. Being on the road definitely challenges your inner thoughts. Well, it, it was a thrift store. I found it, I went to the wrong building. Okay, um, we didn't do great, but we didn't do bad. I mean, code BeccaGuggenSquad.com, please help support the gas fund. <laughs> I have no gas money to get home right now. It's kind of scary, but life on the road. I got this. It's fuzzy. It's warm. And then this sweater, which I'm actually kind of excited about because I don't wear sweaters. But I will wear a sweater to stay warm. That's that's for sure. There's literally no tag. Not even sure what name brand it is, but that's it. <laughs> These are kind of girly, too. And I don't really wear girly stuff, but I guess... To stay warm, why why not? Hopefully this video was somewhat educational, but also like a big thank you as well. I think that was more so my goal was to make sure that you guys are aware like how thankful and how grateful I am. I don't have necessarily a job. I know that's gonna be a pretty important question. I get that all the time. I would say YouTube is my job. I do not make a livable wage or money off of YouTube. You can kind of do the math and look at any YouTuber's views and figure out how much I make monthly. And um, I make just enough to afford, you know, a normal month of driving and eating. But even then, I'm still greatly in debt. So <laughs> don't start YouTube for the money because I can't tell you enough. Like, yes, YouTubers make a lot of money, but you have to be at a certain point in order to make it livable. And um, I'm just not there yet. And I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm broke, but I'm also like very happy. So it could be worse. That That's for sure. But I'm, I'm forever grateful for the situation that I am in. I have very supportive parents when I can't move out, you know? can't move out can't do this can't do that they're so supportive um, my mom makes amazing food when I can't afford to feed myself <laughs> you know stuff like that I'm, I'm very blessed obviously I'm not home with my parents so most of the time I'm not anyways home so it's it's kind of just me relying on me and budgeting and budgeting is just so important and I've learned a lot about that but Money aspect, I would recommend if you do want to live on the road, there's so many remote jobs that you can get online, which I have been applying to a lot of remote jobs that I can do. I think I applied to like 30 the other day and I'm hoping to get an interview because it would be really nice to have another income because money is money is really rough. Um, it might slow down the YouTube videos, but I highly doubt it, honestly. I mean, if you go, I can remote job during the day. I just maybe can't. I might be a little bit more crammed, but yeah. I don't know, sorry I'm rambling. Money is really tough though. Very, very tough. Don't do it for the money, but also make sure you have good budgeting skills if you're planning on living on the road because you're gonna have to account food, gas, and like random stuff like an oil change or maybe your tire's gonna pop. Like things can happen and that money can add up, especially I'm only getting 14 miles to the gallon because of how much weight of my truck bed camper is. So it's basically like towing a mini boat at this point 24 seven and it's gonna wear out your brake pads. You're gonna have to get brake pads more than a normal person. I mean, there's so many expenses that aren't talked about and that I'm still figuring out. Like I just learned the brake pad thing not that long ago. It took me like eight months to realize why are my brake pads going so fast and just stuff like that. I mean, it's a vehicle. Vehicles are expensive when things don't go well. So, you know, make sure to do your research on a vehicle that it's cheap to fix up. Like there's certain cars that aren't worth to buy because parts are so expensive for that vehicle for no reason. So make sure you do your research, pick out a vehicle you like. I chose a truck. Um, I don't love Fords. I've never been a Ford lover. 
found on the road dead is what Ford means, but it was what fit into my budget at the time. So I'm forever grateful to have a Ford, but Ford was never my first choice in a vehicle, but it was what I could afford. And it's been very good to me. So I have zero complaints. I do indeed love my truck. I wish I had four doors because I don't have the amount of space other people do. I have a little bit behind these two seats and that's it. It's just a two door truck and it's just under eight foot. It's like seven and three quarters or something. So it's technically an eight foot bed, which I didn't buy this truck to camp out of actually. That wasn't my intent. I bought this truck because I had a really big boat that I had to tow that I ended up selling. <laughs> yeah, uh, my life has been all over the place. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Comments, questions, concerns, whatever it might be, go in the comments down below. I'm so willing to... Um, answer as many things as I did in this video because I'm I'm human. I definitely didn't hit all the points that I wanted to hit, but you know, I tried my best. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you made it this far in the video and you aren't subscribed, that means the video didn't suck. So consider subscribing down below. We make some unbelievable content on this video that I'm so, oh so proud of and you guys seem to love it. So join the family and join my adventures. Subscribe, like, check out the channel's only sponsor, GuggenSquad.com. Code Becca checkout to help pay for gas funds. And that's really all I got. I mean, thank you guys for everything. I, I just, I, I may or may not cry myself to sleep sometimes thinking about you guys. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, bye. I love you guys. I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one. <laughs>